Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. Oh boy. Sorry for a bit of a delay, but it's because I tried... I tried recording quite early, and for whatever reason it wasn't showing. So sorry for the long bouts of silence, and if you heard anything else, I deeply apologize. So, last time... We did three levels. We did... Medieval Madness, Crate Balls of Fire, and the Cortex Vortex. Today, we only have Crunch left in Crunch Time, but before we do that, why don't we marvel at my accomplishments here? That's Earth. That's water. That's fire. That's air. And now we're here at space. Don't worry about um, medieval madness relic. I'll I'll get it. I'll get all of them, obviously. But enough of that. It is time to face Crunch. Crunch and Cortex. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. By pummeling your sad bandicoot frame into a pulp. Come and get it. Alright, Crunch. You, It's on, you two. This fight is actually very different. It, uh, to be honest, it took me a while to figure out what, you, what I have to do. So. As it loads. Alright, here we are. So here's... Crunch will jump on these buttons to activate the elementals to use their powers. Once Crunch is done, pull out your bazooka and shoot him. Crunch will be staggered a bit before he jumps over to Cortex and gives him a punch. Then you spin Cortex and Uka will pick him up and put him back on there. There's a reason for all this, I'll explain. Okay, Wawa, he will summon ice balls. Do not touch them because you'll be frozen and vulnerable. Whoa. Okay. I'll say I hate low lows, and you'll see why. <laughs> oh, yeah, the music's great as well. Okay, fire. Watch out for Pyro when he heats up parts of the floor. Alright. No. Got him. Doink. I should say, if you have the GameCube and Xbox version, there is a health bar that has Cortex, but not in the PS2 version. Oh, I hate Lolos because it's kind of hard to predict. And you can't jump over the electricity. Whoa. Okay. Try not to get frozen. And last one. Nope. This is our last one, I think. Woo! Nope. Ah. You know what? I'm going to finish Cortex off in style. Yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. <laughs> and I like how Cortex just spins up there. Anyway, we get our final power-up. 
The speed shoes to run faster. Hold R2 while running. Goodbye. Can't you ever let me win? What do you want from me, you Cretan? Cortex! You realize that Crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, we can resurrect the masks one last time and destroy that bandicoot once and for all. I got most of the gems, Uka, so you're wrong. All right, and then the credits are going to show up. Then Crash is going to be dancing with a disco lab assistant. <laughs> I really don't need to say anything at the moment because, you know, the game is obviously not done. But still, it's nice to see these two dance. I mean, if I could... Wait. I was going to say, will Charles... Will Charles show up? He probably won't. Anyway, um, what do I need to talk about? I don't think there's really, because I, I want to save my thoughts until we have 100 percent of the game for sure. But I will say it feels great to win and beat this again. At least you know, Clancy Brown, Mel Winkler, Debbie Derryberry, Kevin Michael Richards, Tom Wilson, R. Lee Ermy, sorry, Mark Hamill and, Jer and Jesse Harnell, Corey Burton. Yeah. So I actually got uh, Wawa's voice actor wrong. I'm sorry. I know his last name was something with Lerming or Remy, but I'm I got it mixed up. So yeah. I think there's a level where you will hear this music. It's not bad. It'd be funny if you can actually encounter this lab assistant as an enemy or a boss and he, he's like a dance fighter just using dancing moves and whatever. It'd be really funny and hilarious. Oh. Japanese actors. Kazumo... Ja Kaz oh, it's probably the Elementals. Crunch. Yuji Kinshi. Theme song. Oh, yeah, that's because the Crash theme has lyrics to it. All right. Uh, is Cortex going to show himself and taunt us, or is that it? Oh, we're back. All right. Yeah, we can run. Let's test it. A minute and 15. I bet I can get a platinum relic faster than that. So normally when I do time trials, if you want some advice, not in this game, but just in general in 3 or even in the Insane Trilogy with, with 1 through 3, because you normally want to get gold or platinum relics to get the better to get the better achievements out of it but if you want my advice to figure out what their times is without looking them up just look at the sapphire time and you gotta like deduct it in a way Ooh, nope not like not like the first episode no Oops. Oh well. So if it's a minute and 15, that means you need at least 50 seconds to get a gold relic. At least that's my that's my estimate. Whoa. I try not to pull off too many risky maneuvers during time trials. Because, you know, I don't want to die and go through the whole thing. What the? 
There's a mammoth there. I didn't notice a mammoth there. We're almost there. And out of curiosity. What? There. That got me a gold relic. Just what I want. I don't care about platinums. As long as you get gold or platinum relics, you'll 100% the game. Alright, but that's not it, actually. I'm going to go back there and demonstrate what happens if you shoot the mammoths. Or if you get too close to them. So, wow. I never thought I'd get done with the game this far in. <clears throat> okay. There's my gold relic. I'll be sure to work on all the other levels on my off time. Oh, and there is one more thing I gotta... Nah, I'll save that for the next one. It'll take a while, but I'll be sure to achieve it. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Okay. All right, let's rush all the way. Let's rush all the way to where the mammoths are. Oh, and by the way, Coco also gets the running shoes for her levels. Jump. Alright, and let's get our brief invincibility. Okay, we're almost there. Alright, since I noticed there was a mammoth off to the side here, hello, if you shoot them, you get a life out of it. I don't know why that's there, but it is. Now, if you get too close to them, though, well, there's one you can get close to, at least in this level. It's hard to pull off, but it's possible. Whoa. I don't think they can hurt you. Oh, wow. Nice. Don't worry, we'll actually see these mammoths later. Alright, but that's it. It's a short episode, I know, but I'm going to save the better stuff for the next part. Alright, that'll do for this episode of Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. Join me next time as once I have all the relics collected and gained, and anything else that I'm possibly missing, like the Gold Rush Gym for instance, I'll show off a little something special, so... No. No, no. So, I'll just stand here next to this thing. So that is it, and I will see you guys next time.